Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll take a quick a quick pause for the cause. We'll change our background to solid black, and we'll look at the render here really quickly. We'll see. Oh, we need to uh, we need some light. So we'll go ahead and add in a giant lamp. Uh, a giant plane, rather, sorry. Giant plane, this plane will sit right underneath the plane that's actually emitting the, um, the snowflakes itself and make sure it's right under it. So we'll go ahead and select both of these, move them up. This bottom plane is, of course, the emission plane. And we will add a material. This material for this giant plane that's right beneath the uh, particle plane will be an emission type. And we'll change the emission to whatever color we want. I'll just change to a very slight blue. And now if we render on this, you should be able to see that we have a light. And the, this light is great because it, uh, instead of it being ambient occlusion, we have different shades of lightness. If you, if you can see, I'll go ahead and turn border on. Uh, you can see some of these are brighter than others. These ones here are underneath things are kind of dark. But if I were to go ahead and get rid of this plane and just turn on ambient occlusion, then you can see they're all the same amount of brightness, which does not look as good. So we'll go ahead and undo that, put our plane back, looking smooth-tastic. So now we'll pause for the cause, give a little bit of a render, so we can see what it's looking like so far. Looking pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm thinking it looks pretty cool. Uh, we can see a little bit of the shapes of some of the snowflakes there. We have a couple of things going, looking pretty good. I want to go ahead and turn on motion blur, uh, and we'll turn rendered viewport shading off here. Um, and now... I do want more particles, but I don't want them to be as big as these because these are already way too big. So I'll go ahead and I'll duplicate this plane here. Um, I'll duplicate our plane, uh, our particle plane, and I'll move it just above uh, the other plane we have. So uh, so now we have a second particle plane that was shifty to duplicate as well, obviously. And we can go ahead and change this from just from snowflakes to the object, and our object would be snowflake three because I want to see a couple more of the the snowballs that we have in there. So we'll go ahead and take a look, see what's uh, crackle lacking with that. We'll go ahead and, oh, no, no, uh, play. And now, uh, as you should be able to see, if I were to go ahead and hide our second plane, hide that bad boy, uh, now we have a few more of those, uh, those, those, those snowballs coming down, which looks much, much cooler and much more realistic, but I do like the, the, the look of these, the snow, the snowflakes. So I'll bump the size up to about... Uh, 0 0.042 maybe, and I'll turn the Bernoian of these up quite a bit. Maybe something ridiculous like 10, would that work out? Um, maybe, yeah, you got those snow particles that are all over the place. Maybe even something even really crazy, and we'll go to 20. Yeah, snow does that, right? Yeah, it does. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We're going to go ahead and change the random size all the way up for these. Um, and uh, I think that looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good the way it is. I want them to be a little bit more crazy. So we'll do something like that. And now if we go ahead and unhide our second plane by hitting Alt-H, we can see we have all the rest of the, the snow particles, which is now we're starting to get a bit of lag, um, which is fine because that usually means something's going good and it's looking good. <laughs> uh, so now we have that snow. If we go ahead and take a pause for the cause, render once again, you can see we have many different particles, many different um, many different shapes here. We have a bit of motion blur going on, which looks pretty freaking awesome. Uh, now the last thing I want to do, so we'll go ahead and select those ball particles, the one that's on objects, Snowflake 3. We'll change the size back down to, uh, geez, uh, 0 0.0. Two, two, and then of course since they're smaller, I'm going to want more of them, so we'll go and bump this up to 5,000, which is quite a lot, and we'll probably get a lot of lag here, so I'll go ahead and save, finally, you should, you should have saved before this, don't be like me, save all the time. Alright, so I'm back, I saved, uh, it's called snowtutorial.blend, <laughs> go ahead and play this now, you can see we have uh, much more snow particles, which is kind of difficult to see because they're really tiny, but trust me, they're there, um, and we'll go ahead and pause it at a good place, take a, a little bit of a render break. And you can see I want more. I want more than this. I want it to be snow covered. So we'll change the first plane, which is our group. No, which should be our group. Why are they both on object now? Okay, so, oh, oh yes, this is why. I, I apologize. Uh, when you do this, see, I made a mistake here. Um, it, when you do this, you have to make sure you duplicate the particle system settings as well. You want to make a copy because if you don't, then it doesn't work. So now we have this uh, snowflake. Uh, two and the first particle system for the other one is just called particle. We'll call it snowflake one. All right, so now we have two different instances of our particle system. Now they were both on 
uh, circles, which is why, which is why I, I was thinking things were looking kind of weird. So we'll go ahead and change that from object back to group, and we'll we'll select the snowflake group. Now you can see much more. We, we can turn global off, by the way. Turn global off, so now we have more particles in the in a limited space. And the same thing for this guy right here, uh, right there. So we can grab that one with the with all the snowflakes in it. Those those are just much too big. Uh, I tried to get around it, but we'll go point zero fifteen. Point zero fifteen looks pretty good. All right, so there's a bit of a problem, as you can see. We have a problem with the motion blur. It's making the particles just streak across the screen way too much. And the reason for this is, if I'm not mistaken, it's because we have the particles rotating at a high enough speed and there's enough Bernoian. It starts doing weird things uh, with the motion blur. So the way we can fix this is, if you can see, we have all these weird lines, which the snow is not falling that fast. That looks like rain. It's not falling that fast at all. So if we change this motion blur setting from center on frame, to start on frame then you can see that now we have particles and there's motion blur as it should be so uh, that's just a little quick uh, thing to be able to to keep in mind there's some stuff as weird stuff goes on with motion blur I don't know why but that is a very quick way to fix that if you're having some trouble I'm thinking there's too many snowflakes at this moment and they're still just a bit too big so we'll go ahead and pop them down a little bit to 0.010 and we will also go ahead and change the number back down to 3,000 because this wasn't supposed to be 5,000. The other one is. Um, and we'll change the snowflake ball one. So the one on the top here. We'll change this one. And I want even more. I want 10,000. We're going crazy today, guys. I want so many particles of snow. I love snow in real life. Love it in Blender. It looks amazing. I love doing it. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and really knock it out the park with the snow today. Um, is that enough? I, do I want it to be more covered than that? I think I might. So you know what? Even crazier, 20,000. Doing 20,000 particles we're saving before we do this because it might crash on me. But uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. 20,000 particles is coming down right now. Right now, it's snowing 20,000 particles. We're going to go ahead and take a pause for the cause on a nice screenshot right about there. All right, so I can already tell this is looking pretty cool, but I think there's a bit too many of the big snowflakes. It's kind of distracting, especially when they catch the light that way. So once again... I'm going to go ahead and grab those snowflakes, and we will uh, turn the size down once again. Hopefully, this is the last time we have to do this. Uh, we'll go 0 0.005, make them even smaller, and I will also turn down the number to just 1,000. Now, they're pretty scarce, but that's fine because I'm going to once again... <laughs> Bump up the number of uh, snowballs we have to 30,000 particles falling down from the sky. I'm looking at this and I think we should turn the brightness of our emission plane up just a bit because they are kind of difficult to see, which is nice, but I think I want to see them just a little bit more. So we'll select our emission plane and we'll change it from 1 to 3 and then we'll see how that looks. All right, so now that's a bit too much because you can see now they all look just like they're they're glowing a little bit. So I'll change it from uh, 1 to 1 1.6 maybe. I think that should be good. I think so. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Let me know what you want to see next time, especially uh, getting ready for the holidays. I'll see you guys all then. Uh, so if you enjoyed it, let me know down in the comment section what you want to see later on. But until then, bye-bye.